back to the channel so here we are discussing the question come together on code forces round 151 the question states that bob and carol hanged out with alice the whole day now it's time to go home alice bob and carol live on an infinite 2d grid in cells a b and c respectively right now all of them are in cell a if bob or carol is in some cell he or she can move to one of the neighboring cells. The cells are called neighboring if they share a side. For example, the cell 3,5 has 4 neighboring cells 2,5, 4,5, 3,6 and 3,4. Now, what is the objective? Bob wants to return to cell B and Carol wants to return to cell C. Both of them want to go along the shortest path. That is along the path that consists of minimum possible number of cells. But they would like to walk together as well. Now what is the maximum possible number of cells that Bob and Carol can walk together if each of them walks home using one of the shortest path? So let's look at the test cases. In the first one, they are at position A and Bob wants to reach B and Carol wants to reach C. Now if you see that they have A to B, there are 5 cells and A to C, there are 7 cells. So they will visit 3 cells together. In the second test case, it would be like this. So Bob is containing 4 cells and Carol contains 3 cells. They visit only one cell together. After this, you can see they are at position A. Now, Bob's root contains six cell cells, and Carol's path contains nine cells. So, how many cells they visit together? These six cells. In this, it was only one cell. So, now what we can do is first we need to check the position where we are starting so let us denote the position a by ax and ay b by bx and by and c by cx cy now uh, let's suppose initially our answer is 1 because minimum 1 would be the cell on which they are together because they start from A itself. Now we check the condition that how many cells are there on the x axis direction which are same for Bob and Carol. So if the direction is same for them so that many cells can be counted so how it will be counted suppose uh, b is here and c is here so first we check that if x of b let's denote it by bx if our bx is less than ax And also our CX is less than A or vice versa means both are greater than AX or both are less than AX which ensures that they are B and C are moving in the same direction. If they are moving in the same direction then we would calculate the difference between bx and ax and also cx and ax and the minimum difference of both these two would be added to the answer so let denote answer by small a so that you don't get confused so our a would add up minimum of distance of a B 
in terms of x and distance of AC in terms of x. Now, as we have done for x axis, similarly we can do for y axis also. Means if they are moving in same direction on the y axis, we can calculate the minimum of DAB and DAC on the y axis and add it to the answer. So, our answer would be simply it would be added for y axis as well the same thing this is for x this is for y and then just we return the answer which would give us the solution now let's see it in one of the test cases so looking at the first test case Here we have three one one three six four. So here suppose this is three one. This is one three. And this is six comma four. Now, first, what we are checking if b of x is less than a of x or not. So, b of x is one, and a of x is three. Yes, b of x is less than a of x, but c of x is not less than a of x. So, we are not adding anything to the answer here. If we go to the y coordinate. We check that yes, y coordinate of both of them are greater than a of y. So we would calculate the difference between the y coordinates. Here, 4 minus 1 would give us 3. 3 minus 1 would give us 2. So, what is minimum? Obviously, 2. So, here we would return the answer as 1 plus 2. This would give us C as the answer. And we know that for first test case, the answer is 3. So, hope you all understand this solution. Thanks for watching.